five really. Right now, this is uh, me and Mark and uh, Natasha in Birmingham. We Looking back on happier times, Stuart Goldsmith has been a friend of Mark Spate since their school days in Wolverhampton. His photo of Stuart with Mark and his fiancée Natasha was taken last year. Now, four days on since Mark was last seen, Stuart is desperate to know that he's okay. Spatey, I am begging on you, begging on you, don't do anything stupid. Phone your mom, get in contact with your family, get in contact with a police officer or even get in contact with me. The presenter's disappearance came less than a week since the inquest on his fiancée, Natasha Collins, recorded a verdict of death by misadventure. She was found dead in the bath of their London flat in January, covered in water burns after taking cocaine and sleeping pills. Scotland Yard said he would face no charges over her death. He is still blaming himself for what's happened to Natasha. That was a fantastic couple. He idolised her. The CCTV pictures released yesterday by police show Mark Spate at a London tube station on Monday afternoon. Shortly after, he vanished and fears for his safety continue to grow. He hasn't even found his mum. His mum. The stress must be terrible because, you know, for her son Mark not even to contact his family, then something's going on and he needs to be found. John Willits in Wolverhampton for Central Tonight. Nobody could contact him. If he wasn't even contacting his mom, then I thought to myself, well, this man needs to be found quick. The police need to find him quick. You know what? I need a bit of height here. His agent tonight said, all those around him were devastated at the loss of a man who is caring, compassionate and gifted. Well, David Tulato, BBC News. Now. What happened to Natasha? And uh, from there, wasn't even in contact with his, his family or his close friends. What's happened with you? I'm teeth. Today, his co-presenter has been paying tribute. I think I really admired him on Smart for being able to just simplify art, to be able to get kids into it really from just here's two circles, now look it's a sea lion. Mark Spate's body has now been taken away and an inquest will open on Wednesday. Yeah. Check out my rain shadow. Jeez. His family have issued a statement describing him as a wonderful son and brother. John Brain, BBC News. British Transport Police say the body was found at uh, 10 o'clock uh, this morning here at Paddington Station in what they call a very remote uh, part of this busy terminus away from public view. Uh, the body has now been removed. We don't know precisely where in this complex the body was found. They say the cause of death is unexplained, but they have said uh, the dead person hadn't been struck by a train. A uh, formal identification is due to take place tomorrow and there will be a continuing investigation using CCTV cameras, the footage from them, to find out exactly how the dead person came to be here. Again, we don't know how long uh, the body had been here at Paddington. And this is, of course, the news that people close to Mark Spate space would have been dreading. He's been missing for some six days now. Just uh, explain the background to this, if you would. Well, yes, um, Mark was uh, last uh, seen uh, on Monday. Uh, he was in a fragile and, and vulnerable state, uh, his family said. He was on his way from Queen's Park Tube Station to Covent Garden to meet his uh, fiancée's mother. Uh, he was last seen in those CCTV pictures, but apparently there was another report of him about 22 minutes later on the Bakerloo line, and the Bakerloo line would have brought him here to Paddington. Over the last few days, we've had a lot of appeals from his uh, family, obviously very concerned about him, his friends and families, his friend and family, saying, please don't do anything stupid, get in touch with the family. But as the days went by, obviously their concern grew, and now this, this body has been discovered. We were just watching there, Andy, the uh, CCTV pictures of Mark Spade at Queen's Park tube station some days ago. 
I expect that uh, CCTV footage of Paddington will now be central to the police investigation. It will be. I mean, the police talk about the body being found in a, a remote location. It, it's hard to believe that in a terminus like this, visited by tens of thousands of people every day, there is such a spot. But obviously, um, that's where the body was found. In the next few days, I'm sure we'll find out more about this. And the police themselves really have got a mystery at the moment. It's an unexplained death, and that CCTV footage will be crucial in trying to piece together the story of what happened here. The presenter, Natasha Collins. In January, she was found dead in the bath at their flat after taking cocaine and sleeping tablets. Officers are now studying CCTV images to try to find out how Mark Spate managed to get into the partially disused office block to take his own life.